morning I pulled three. One is receptive. The other is Pluto transformation. I decided I'll, I'll try this for a change. You know, I'm always changing up the readings to see how they work. So today I pulled Pluto transformation and the last card is beautiful. Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to read the thing on Pluto because I am not an astrology person. So um, bear with me on this. But I can tell from this right away, be receptive to the beautiful things in transformation. And in the midst of transformation, you may be going through some really difficult times. Okay. So continue to go. Things are working under the surface, you know. Keep holding out for the best of it. Even if it's the difficult time, look for the light in it. Don't look for the shadow in the dark and focus on that. Because that's what you'll keep seeing and keep getting, more shadow nonsense. So keep your focus on something that's good, receptive. Be receptive to change. Be receptive to beauty. You know, this is the thing that also Buddha talked about is suffering. People don't want change. They want things to be, you know, perfect, and I don't want it to change. If it was always perfect and no change at all, how boring would it be? Okay. So again, let's be open to transformation. Be receptive. Okay. Be willing to weather the storms to get to the end. It's like if you plant a seed and you want to grow a flower, it's not going to happen in the next two seconds. You're going to have to put the effort in. You have to be patient, and eventually you are rewarded, okay? So let's go ahead and read and see what it says about Pluto transformation. And I wish I could find, let me look here real quick, my reading glasses, because when the light is a bit dim in here, I do not have good vision in um, when it, I don't have a lot of light. So, <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh my God, I have been sneezing this morning. I don't know what's out there. Maybe something's getting ready to bloom or something. I don't know. I thought I had a pair of glasses in here. <laughs> This is what happens when you're living in a really tiny space. Well, I did have some, but I don't know where they've gone to, so I'm just going to have to muddle through this as best as I can. <laughs> Excuse me again, or this might take a while. Oh, mercy. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> we might be here a few hours at this rate. Okay, let's see. Pluto transformation. People living deeply have no fear of death. Pluto, the smallest and outermost planet in our solar system, probably carries the most weight. It is the planet of extremes. Birth, sex, and death are Pluto's themes. In Greek legend, Pluto was the god of the underworld. His earlier name, Hades, came to be designate the dwelling place for the dead. The name Hades means the unseen. Now, I didn't know that. Did you know that, that Hades, that, that it means the unseen? Good to know and is a good description of the energies of Pluto, which tend to transform areas of the astrological chart without us knowing until the explosion or blowout. Pluto was discovered in 1930, and although it is now considered a dwarf planet, transits from Pluto are extremely powerful and bring on significant life changes. 
In traditional astrology, Pluto is the higher octave of Mars, but has some similarities to Saturn, which is also a force of oppression. Pluto governs renewal and rebirth. It brings to the surface things that have been hidden or are felt deep inside. These are sometimes painful to confront or they are embarrassing or taboo. And this is another thing I keep telling people about Kundalini. It's the roto-rooter of consciousness. It does basically the same thing as Pluto's doing, brings transformation by bringing to the surface all these things that one has been trying to occlude or run away from or uh, absolutely not be willing to see. It brings it up and puts it in your face point blank to be looked at and walked through. Okay, so let's see what else we have about Pluto. This dwarf planet tends to inspire unwelcome surprises. Pluto can be like a tower collapsing in your life, a life from which you must rebuild from debris and also inspiration. That's another thing, excuse me. <laughs> You may face a lot of losses along the way, too. I mean, I've lost everything I've owned a couple of times on the path. Part of it was by design that I went to an esoteric order, which you had to give up everything you owned. Okay. And the others was just by happenstance along the way. <clears throat> Everything, <laughs> everything. I mean, literally, you start again from square one, scratch. Uh, so don't be surprised if you lose things along the way. If you're doing a spiritual path, too, another thing you lose along the way is uh, friends, friends that you've had. Because as you transit your path, your ideas change, your, the things that are important to you change. You, you lose the want to do the, um, the uh, you know, gossipy drama and, you know, you don't want to go out and party. You don't want to, you know, those things fall away. So as those things fall away, you get a different set of people that you're in communication with, okay? So don't be surprised with that. Many things you have relied upon for always being there may suddenly disappear or leave. Like I said, you may lose everything a few times in your life. Pluto represents endings and beginnings. It is not a card of physical death per se, since in our lifetimes we experience many deaths and new starts. This is simply a time when the decks are being wiped clean for new action. So be receptive that something new is going to come out of it. It's kind of like going through the thing with Trump now. The decks are being swept clean, but while it's being swept clean, we have to go through this period of this transformation, which is not easy, okay? Um, okay. Most of the time, you begin to feel ill at ease with the feeling of something not right, and things go down strangely with an eerie silence like the Titanic. Well, I don't know how silent the Titanic going down would have been. I think there would have been a lot of people screaming and, and you know, cracking of the ship and the thing. I, I don't see it as silent, but okay. <laughs> we'll buy into it for the moment, okay? If you're in a relationship that's been difficult, it will either end or will deepen and become more fulfilling. Any romance that starts at this time should prove to be intense. It's very important not to try and control things. Instead, surrender to the ups and downs for a while, although some of these changes may be painful ones. That said, this is a time of intense sexuality. It may come in the forms great sex, not enough sex, strange sex, but mostly intense and consuming sex. Okay, I'm not buying into that, you know. Some of us are celibates. We, there is no sex, okay? <laughs> 
but I guess for those that are caught up in that realm, okay, in terms of job or career, it may be time to get another. When the Pluto card re presents itself in a reading, you may have recently been infatuated with a hidden subject, certain mysteries, or the taboo. This could be a time when you're able to sense and feel spirits around you. Sometimes this card can indicate psychic attacks, and thus you should be very careful who you open up to. Be cautious if you are involved in anything paranormal or occult in nature. You're not particularly vulnerable. In fact, your strength is growing. But it's important at this point to spiritually protect yourself from anything negative, such as vampire types of people or lost spirits looking for a home. Okay. The easiest way to deal with that is you don't open yourself up to it. Okay. These negative spirits that are looking for a home, they attach to things like if you're doing alcohol, if you're doing porn, you're doing things that you really shouldn't be doing, okay? And they're on the other side. They no longer have a form. They have to feed off of somebody else doing something. So that's the ones that attach to that type of thing. So if you don't want these negative spirits, don't be doing negative things. And then you have nothing to worry about. As far as this other thing, protecting yourself from anything negative, that's fear-based, okay? Like Christ says, fear not. If you are in the light and you are walking in the light, you don't need to fear these. You may have these ones that are going on the attack system, okay? You don't buy into their drama. You don't, you know, you don't open yourself to it. They, they may spin on things for a time, but eventually they're going to burn themselves out with their own drama. Okay, so just leave it to them. Okay, you may become upset concerning something about your past that turns out not to be what you always thought. On more mundane level, you may have to be more careful with your finances, taxes, inheritances especially. You might have the opportunity to suddenly move to a new home, but beware of foundation water or sewer problems and also the possibility that the house might be haunted. Well, if it's haunted, you just send them on their way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Some of them are okay. They're hanging around for whatever. The ones that are a little more nasty, you know, you can send them, send them to the light. Just tell them, you know, look at, you're not in form anymore. Go forward. Why are you hanging here? Okay. Think of Pluto as leftover things that tend to languish in a state of decay or decadence, but more positively rejuvenation, healing, and birth. Okay. The corresponding tarot card is Six of Swords. Well, usually Six of Swords is going through something, going through to the other side of it, okay? So let go of the old. Know that sometimes be receptive to transformation and know that the other side of it can be beautiful. It's difficult sometimes when you're going through transformation you know, such as I'm in the midst of moving a house, I'm selling a house in the middle of transformation, moving to a new place. You know, it's not going swiftly. <laughs> I've got all my things are packed up sitting in the garage on pallets ready to ship, but nothing can be shipped until I have a new house, and I don't have a new house till the old house sells and closes. So, Anyway, it's a midst of transformation. So you make the best of the situations of transformation as is possible. Same thing like the thing with Trump. We're going through this transformation. You know, it, and as much as this nastiness is coming up and that we're seeing it, the good news is with that nastiness, the more the nastiness that comes out, the more plainly it will finally be seen by those that are not so willing to see it, that have kind of closed a blind eye, okay? So there is a light at the end of the tunnel with all of this. Um, if 
Trump gets, uh, and he'll probably get acquitted on this. They won't take him, remove him out of office. Although I see there's one reader out there that says they're going to have witnesses. He's going to walk away at that point. Well, maybe he will, maybe he won't. We'll have to wait and see. But if he doesn't, you know, my feeling is if uh, he doesn't get taken out of office, he's going to get even more radical and more crazy, more feeling like a dictator. Okay, the light at the end of that tunnel, that darkness that's, that's he's continuing to promote, the light in that is that people will see, you know, they'll have to confront the fact of what he is, okay? It's not going to be so easy to, to uh, continue to uh, turn a blind eye. You know, have you seen his thing? I saw on Facebook this thing, oh my God, that woman, he's got this, his spiritual counselor. I'm praying against those satanic births and they... She is off her nut, okay? Absolutely crazy. And this is what I said. This is what he's got supporting him. And this is what's out there now. It's taken over the Christian churches has just been these crazy, I mean, it's 180 degrees away from what Christ was teaching. That's why I keep saying it's the Bible according to 666, you know, really ego has taken over the churches and, you know, the father of lies. If they can support and put on pedestal somebody that cannot tell the truth, then what they're supporting is Satan, clear and simple. Satan is the father of lies, okay? Liar personified, okay? And Trump is a very good advocate. He's a very good follower, okay, a very good acolyte of that satanic type of drama of, um, you know, just lying and cheating and doing whatever to, to fulfill your persona. And it doesn't matter who you hurt or what you do along the way. You know, he justifies it, rationalizes it, and they continue to do those things, that their, their main focus is money. And what's the Bible say? You can't serve God in mammon. You can't serve God in money, okay? can't serve the spirit in the world, you know, put the world, the things on a pedestal, objects, and think you're serving spirit, okay? So... Again, you know, there is a light in the midst of all this darkness. It's like the yin-yang, okay? Every dark has a seed of light, and every light has a seed of dark. Which one are you going to hold to and grow, okay? If you're in the midst of a shadow time, find the light. Hold to the light. If you're in the light, be aware of that shadow, Okay, don't lose sight of what it is, okay? So that's the, the lesson of the yin-yang, okay? Um, so I'm going to leave this here, and I hope that somebody's gotten something out of it. We are going through a great time of transformation. I mean, things when, when things are going to change, everything has to be swept out. And now we have Mother Gaia sweeping stuff out, and, and we really need to make some severe changes. And we can do it, but we've got to hold to the good. You can't get depressed. You can't get, you know, uh, in this rut, because then you don't have the energy to move anything forward. And we need to keep the energy to move things forward, okay? So I'm going to leave this here. i got to take the boys out. It's a little late today, but it was down to 28 last night, and it's still pretty cold out there, but uh, they've got to go out this morning. They're looking at me like it's time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let me go get a coat on, get them suited up. Um, Okay, Mr. Raj, Mr. Raj, come get suited up. Pee-pee potty time.
Oh, oh, I'm just gonna try to walk on the computer. Come on. Okay, Max. Okay, you wanna come over? Okay, Max is suited up. Come on, Rod. Let's suit you up. Come on. Oop. Oh, come on. Get him over here. Okay, let's come. Let's put your. Let's put, <laughs> Let's put your vest on. Let's put you. Let's suit you up. Let's get you suited up. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Down you go, boys. Let's go get your chain. Let's go get your chain. I'm gonna put them on the chain and take them out. <laughs> I'll see you online. Aho.